I'm Slider7285, and I'm here to do a teardown of Traxxas's 3.3 motor that came with my Slayer Pro 4x4. Searched the internet, found very few videos that have done a teardown on this, so I'm going to try and do a professional teardown for you. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the motor here. It's in pretty rough shape. I've had it now for about a year and a half. This will be the first teardown I've done. I figure it's the winter time, not really running it as much right now. You can see all the grimy dirt in there. up along the uh, starter box area there. Got pretty dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and tear it down, make sure everything is in good shape, inspect some things because I do know that if you can see it, let me get it centered there. There we go. If you can see it, looks like the spur gear caught the clutch at some point. Now I've had to replace two air boxes on this truck because of this deal right here. Get it nice and close. Thank you camera. See how it chewed up that edge right there? I'm going to order a new carburetor and I'm going to check and make sure that the setting on the truck is far enough away to where I don't have that issue again. So I'm going to start by tearing this bad boy down. I'm not going to do this in any particular order. This part here is obviously the top protector for the head. It did its job as you can see. There are some scuff marks there from where a rollover happened. These are relatively inexpensive. I believe they're $3.95 each. So you can get that and if you combine it with some zip ties then all you're going to be tearing up at that point is the zip ties. There we go. Alright, all the screws are out. Now that should just pop right off. Should. Doesn't mean it's going to. Obviously it's on there, so. I'm going to try getting up underneath it and just prying it out. And there it is. And that would be why I had issues with popping it out because those fit right on nicely in there. And see, as you can see, the head's really dirty. It happens. I'm go ahead. How about let's get this tuned pipe off? As you can see, it took a beating too. I'll probably took a, take a Dremel to it, polish it up. Got some pretty good scratches on it. Use my little hex tool. The reason I'm doing this is I want to see what kind of damage has been done, if any, to the interior of the engine. It was my first nitro engine, and I'm not going to be able to get that part out right there. Let's try working on the starter box. Apologies if I sound uncomfortable doing this. This is my first video where I've done any kind of talking. And I'm trying to narrate my way through this. This will be the first time that I've done this motor. I have done other motors in the past. I have broken down my HPI RS4 engine. We'll type, I believe it's a 0.12. I did that teardown last year. I didn't videotape it, but I did do a complete teardown and rebuild on that car. And that was fun. I learned a lot about it. I'll probably do a smaller teardown this year. To clean it up because it's been run pretty good. Alright, peel that off. Let's see, it's like some oil, hopefully. Some kind of grease helps protect it. Hopefully, it's not water. I don't see rust from it being water. But as you can see, this motor got pretty dirty. It's a 380 size motor, so if you need a replacement, pretty inexpensive to replace. Again, it's just a 380 brushed motor. There's the back plate. Set up for the easy start system. Simple four screws holds it on. Be able to pull it apart and see what the piston looks like. If I have a big enough hex, I do. This will allow us to be able to look at the bottom half of the, of the piston to make sure that nothing on the sleeve is broken. There's no in, improper wear anywhere. No scratches from possible dirt coming down in through the carburetor. 
as I said before and showed you, the carburetor has that big chunk taken out of the front of it, which in turn also, again, put a hole in the air intake tube. So it is possible to have sucked up any kind of dirt, because I did do a lot of running on dirt on this thing. And I'm learning a lot about it. The entire truck I tore down and cleaned up. I'll probably be doing a build video of that because I'm going to be adding a few things to it when I build it back up. One thing being the sway bar kit. There we go. Broke all those free. And that back plate should just slide right out. Just like so. And see how it's got a seal on it. Little orange ring. Okay. I'm going to put the engine down for a second. You see how clean that is? That's how solid that was in there. So I'm going to continue to clean it up. And there's some indication that it was maybe running a little too hot at some point. Too lean. Now looking at it, the piston looks like it's in decent shape on the inside there. No char marks there. The front main bearing looks in decent shape, the crankshaft, if you will. Now I'm still getting compression because I have left the glow plug in because I didn't want anything falling down in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out now so I can move the piston up and down a lot easier. You can choose how to do this any way you want to. Glow plug first, whatever you'd like. I personally just didn't want anything falling down in there before taking the head off. Taking the glow plug out now. I'm going to see what kind of condition the glow plug is in. It doesn't look all that bad. Looks fairly clean. Probably got a few more runs out of the deal, which is good. I do have an extra glow plug that I purchased. Looks like I will not be needing it right now. Oh, I can't get to it now. Okay. I'm going to get the rest of this exhaust pipe off. I feared I may have to do this. Always have some extra tools laying around just in case you need to use them. And voila. Okay. Just got the exhaust off. Looks pretty rough in there. Which is it supposed to? It's exhaust. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. It needs to be cleaned up. Polished up. Look all pretty again. So we like we like clean parts. Now, this offers me a great view into the piston. And we can see down in the exhaust port now. You get a good haha. -ha. And this will allow me to take a small look at the piston as it goes up and down, as you can see right there. Very simple things. Motors are very difficult. As they call them, they're glorified air pumps. But as you can see, the piston moving up and down in there. Looking at the sleeve of the piston, if you can, if I can get this to work right. There we go. You can actually see the bottom of the piston, and that's the sleeve. And in a lot of cases, if you run too lean, that portion breaks off. And then that'll sling them around in here, as you can see, it's just spins is all it does, and then that stuff gets all up in there, and it can tear a motor up to the point where even just replacing a sleeve and a piston isn't uh, feasible any longer. You have to just buy a whole new motor. So. But yeah, it looks like I've been, been running it too lean, as expected. Yeah, that's what happens as a newbie. You want more power, but unfortunately more power comes at the risk. So I'll back her up, and I'll run it. <clears throat> so that's a little bit richer next time. I'm taking the head screws out. I'll pull the head off, make sure the top of the piston's in decent shape. You can get a kind of an idea by looking down in through the glow plug hole as to what kind of condition the top of your piston is in but until you take the whole head off you're not going to know exactly how bad it is if it's bad at all just these five screws they feel like they have loctite on them so you just got to break the loctite seal and they come right out you're not hurting anything by doing this now I tend to just leave the head bolts in the head that way they don't get lost. 
as long as you don't tip your head over. Okay. However, we'll get to the piston in a minute. I wanted to look at the button, what they call the button. This is the button. This is where the combustion takes place at the top of the piston, top of the combustion chamber. The glow plug obviously sits in the center there, and that's where the explosion, combustion, power, raw power. Here it doesn't look bad. I don't see any major pitting on the button, which would indicate that I'm running too lean. It actually has a good amount of after run oil on it, which tells me good things. There's no rust. There is some dirt that's embedded in here. That's fine. That, will as you can see, will clean right out. But that button looks like it's in really good shape, so whatever was causing the bottom of the piston to burn up looks like it hasn't affected the top. So that's good. I'll put that back down here. And we'll get down here. Looking at the top of the piston, it's got some, looks like some kind of dirt on it maybe. Some kind of particles. Easily cleaned off. Again, you can see there's a good amount of after run oil. I try to really take care of this. Again, it was my first nitro engine. I really, really wanted to put a lot of care into it, given the fact of how much it cost me as well. So, some of that looks like it might be after run oil, but it looks like it's in really good shape. I don't see any, any bad scarring or black marks. No pitting. Doesn't look like there's any detonation. That piston's in really good shape. I like the look of that piston. So, now we're going to work on the front of the motor. I'm going to take off the carburetor and then the clutch bell housing to see what kind of condition my clutch is in. And that should be about it. I'm not going to pull the piston out or the sleeve because then that would require all new break-in procedure. Uh, the crankshaft is apparently in good shape. It feels like it's in good shape. It has good motion, no sound. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the bearings in it feel like they're really good. So that all feels like it's in great shape. Moving on to the carburetor. Yes, I mentioned before you should have the appropriate tools. Didn't have my wrench handy at the time to take that out. But all you have to do is just loosen that little bolt up and the carb, that little bolt right there on the side, as you can see, all it does is it squeezes down on the carburetor and it pulls the carburetor right out. As you can see, you can see down into the crankcase a little better. Where did my flashlight go? There it is. And that allows you to see in there. As you spin it, you can see the opening pop up. That's where the fuel-air mixture goes in, and that's where it closes. I don't even see any kind of scratching along the casing there as to indicate that any kind of dust or dirt had gotten down in there. It all looks really good. That, that makes me happy. It means that even though I had that hole in the air intake tube, it didn't suck anything up. Let me get the last piece off, the clutch bell housing, so I can see what kind of condition my clutch is in. I don't believe it's in too bad a shape. Take off that simple little pin right there, little C-clip right there. And you can see there's a little, looks like a washer of some kind that pulled off. And then the, should, the whole clutch barrel, the bell housing just pops right off. As you can see, it's a good clutch bell housing. There's not a whole lot of dust in there. That's what the holes are for. The holes are to allow the dust to escape so it doesn't build it up and burn your clutch up. Looking at the clutch shoes, they look to be in good shape. It doesn't look like there's a whole ton of wear on them. Yeah, it looks like I can clean up a little bit here. You can see how far out they come. That's how far out they come before they engage. And that's pretty much it. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. Doesn't need to go any further. Motor, motor engine, whatever you'd like to call it. This is the Traxxas 3.3 racing engine that came out of my Slayer Pro 4x4. Really strong engine, and that's the teardown of it. Very simple. Hope you'd enjoy. So that's it. That's the teardown of the Traxxas 3.3 racing motor. Hope you enjoyed. I hope I was clear enough for you. And I hope I was able to help somebody in the end. Uh, I'm also going to do a rebuild video. I'm going to order a new carburetor because that one getting all torn up and I'm also going to order 
some new caps for the head and everything else looks like it's in great shape I'm just gonna clean it up get it all prepared and uh, hopefully I'm going to do a next video of the teardown of my two-speed transmission out of my Slayer Pro 4x4 um, thanks for watching um, subscribe if you'd like I'm gonna post more videos and uh, hopefully I'll get better at this I'm still a little more uncomfortable so thanks again Bye. Who the hell says bye? Wow. Thanks again. Watch again. No, not watch again. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all later. Slider out. I'm a dork.